Pisdeck Institute. Before I show you how to calculate continuously compounded interest using Excel, I want to kind of give you some background on it. What I have in this little area is a uh, formula and a number of periods, and continuous compounding would be an infinite number of compounding periods. Now, how do we get that, that particular value? Well, look at the formula in this cell, 1 plus 1 over n to the n. If I let n equal 1, this formula evaluates to the number 2. If I make n a 10, it evaluates to 2.593, etc. And as I increase the number of periods, uh, the changes become smaller and smaller, and it's headed toward a particular value. And the value it's headed toward is called the um, exponential function. It's exp. And if I take the I take the exponential function of the number one, uh, it's called e, by the way, and you'll see that it is two point seven one eight, uh, two eight one eight, and on and on. Now this is the uh, where this series is converging to, and this is the number that we use um, when we are going to calculate continuous compounding because it represents an infinite number of compounding periods. So to calculate the continuously compounded rate of return, or return on a present value amount, I'll simply use the exponential function. So I'm going to take my uh, starting value times the exponential function, and I can either do the um, rate times time being 10% times the two years, and I'd get the exact same result if I did the 2.5% times eight quarters. And this is going to give me the uh, um, continuously compounded return of $1,221.40. And you'll see that that's a, a higher number than either the annual or the quarterly. And uh, that's what you'd get if you had continuous compounding.